And welcome, this is Baller Scuba with Let's Play Sword of Mana, a remake for the original game of the Mana series, Final Fantasy Adventure. A game that's often overlooked, I think, in terms of uh, quality RPGs because, well, this game was released for the Game Boy. Uh, we are going to be starting a new game. Uh, Communication only really works if you have a link cable. This is before the DS, right? This is the Game Boy Advance. So without the link cable, communication is practically useless to you. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Now, as I had mentioned in Part Zero, there are two main characters that you can be. You can be the hero or the heroine, um, boy or girl, obviously. Now, this actually does change how the opening cutscene plays. Uh, a couple of the stats are a little bit different, and after a very close vote, the male just barely won out. And as for a name, as suggested by Crying Kronos, his name is going to be Loki. Yes, that is fine. And now, we do have a long opening cutscene. Don't make me watch the dream again, and we see the mana tree again. In the beginning, the world was void. Then the goddess appeared. In her left hand, she held the light of hope, and in her right, the sword of mana. The goddess summoned spirits to assist in the creation of life. Finally, to maintain peace, the goddess cast away the sacred sword. It is said the sword rusted the moment it left her hand. The goddess then transformed herself into a great tree that would sustain and watch over the world. A mystical power guards the sanctuary where the tree stands to this day. And now we get to be the hero as a little boy. What's up, little Loki? Well, what a song! Hooray, I can practically see the mana tree. Apparently I was supposed to be singing that. I didn't. Lord Gronz, huh? Is that so? Your voice is so unusual. Shut up! I tried to do an old man voice. It's like I'm dreaming. Thank you for your praise, Loki. Your words are magic and a great encouragement. Magic, you say? Not at all! I'd rather hear you tell me your story about how the Geminites defeated the evil Vandal Empire! Unfortunately, I cannot sing songs about myself. Why not? I want to know the truth! Other minstrels just sing about stuff they've heard from other people! They get the story all wrong! <laughs> a story's just a story. No matter the truth, no matter who tells it, it's still a story. Then I'll sing your story! Oh, I just remembered. We have a loot at home. I'll go get it. It is it an epic loot. Such a good-natured child. Oh, so now we're hanging outside. A castle town man. What, what, what a name that could be. Jeez, you should get home. The console might be angry if you dawdle. Dad won't be mad. Today's my singing lesson with Lord Grons. Wow. I heard that Lord Gronz quit singing after he lost his loot. No, uh -uh. <laughs> Lord Gronz hasn't quit singing. Ah, oh, God, you're just a little kid. Even though the portrait makes him look older than the sprite. I don't know, the sprite looks really young, and then the portrait makes him look, you know, maybe ten. Ten or so. But uh, the sprite makes him look like six. Break it down. The Black Knight. <laughs> but Dark Lord... This is Grand Realm's console, Ermon's estate. So what? His name is Dark Lord. That is that is crazy. Because he's console, we should allow him to harbor heretics. Heretics in my house? Did something happen to mom and dad? Most certainly not. But Sir Ermon is a friend of Lord Grand's. To suddenly barge in with soldiers seems unthinkable. Anything else to say? Sir, you told me to step aside. Or at least let us get Lord Gronz's permission. It's thanks to him we enjoy peace now. Leave if you object. I have my ways. And that's that. Oh no, I've got to tell Dad right away. Loki to the rescue. 
And there, there he is! Dad, we told you, we gotta get out! I told you not to come in that way, Loki, we have guests! Dad, big trouble, we're surrounded by soldiers! What? And, good job, Loki, you spared him like five seconds, you gave him a five second warning for that, that was awesome! Prince Stroud, what is this all about? You refer to me as Dark Lord. As a servant of the realm, you, surely you know the consequences of harboring heretics. Armon, it's just as I told you. This masked man is the one who burned down Mana Village. This man is insane. What? What? This man? Right there? <laughs> now, Prince Stroud, I mean, Dark Lord. Surely there must be. This can't be true. Heretics. I vividly remember how Vandal used them to pull the wool over the eyes of the entire nation. I won't allow you to protect them. Of course not. I'm not one to protect subversives, if things are as you say. That grounds. He's not a real man. How does one raise such a foolish son? That's enough of that. If you've got something to say, let your sword do the talking. Must be some mistake, Dark Lord. Put your sword away, please. Out of my way. Oh, blocked. The idea that the Mana Clan are heretics is simply laughable. I don't know what excuses you'll make, but your sins are severe. I'll make you pay. Pay? You're the one who'll pay, Bogard. What? Knowing all you do, still want to play hero? I'll show you. I'll show you the truth. Traitor! Protect Dark Lord! What kind of name is Dark Lord? Not even like the Dark Lord, just Dark Lord. Run! Get out of here! I'll hold them off by staring at the door. And oh, Mom! What is up? What's going on? I don't know. Prince Stroud mentioned something about the Mana Clan being heretics. I have no idea. The heretic girl is here. Go get her. Go out the back! Take Loki and the girl. Don't let anyone see you even though they're staring right at you. Y yeah, okay. And off they go, and nobody saw. I have no choice. I'll take you to her. And then they go the other way. Is that the girl? Mother, no, don't leave me. Wake up. We you must flee now. What? What's wrong? Where's Sir Bogard? No time to explain. Take her with you. Hurry, go. Who is she? What's going on? Keep quiet. Just get going. I'll deal with them. Open up. One moment, please. I'm dressing for bed. I'm naked in here. Go, quickly. But ma'am. No, I won't. You come too. You're a big boy now. Take care of her. How old is Loki in this? I'll try. I mean, I gotta average it there. He's probably like eight or so. Don't worry about your father and me. Prince Stroud is such a nice man. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm gonna die in here. And in come the soldiers and off run the little kids. We gotta make it. No. And Loki fell. Not this dream again. Oh. It's all a, a dream, I guess. Don't make me watch when the soldiers got me. No. It's awful. And now we've woken up as Loki. Yes, this game does have color. Jeez, for a while it didn't have anything there. There we go. There's our character. And Willy. Willy is here too. Hooray for Willy up with you? Something like a banshee. Really? Something like a banshee? For once I was having a pretty sweet dream until you interrupted. There were girls, they were all naked. It was awesome, but then you woke me up. Hey Loki, what kind of dream were you having? Want me to tell you what it means? Sure. Why not? Were you eating a rabbi? Or maybe a mushroom? I hear they're a lot tastier than you might think. What? It was a girl. A chick? Whoa, the same one as before. I couldn't protect her. Only I was left. 
She... After that, she... Ah, get real, will ya? It wasn't your fault. Times are tough. A kid like you couldn't protect her. What could you do? Her name was... What was her name? Like I said, we do get to name the female character. And I'll be right back once I have made my choice. As suggested by Ketsuki TV, her name is going to be Misa. Yeah, Misa. It was Misa. Misa? Did you say Misa? I just typed that in. Nah, can't be. Look, okay, after we're out of here, you can tell me the whole story in detail. For now, just hold that thought. What? Is that bread? I, I got extra, and it's primo stuff. It's bread. Chick, I hope she's alive. I mean, I'm sure she's alive. No doubt about it. Alright, eat up. We're still alive, too. You want to see that Misa chicker again, right? Bet she was hot. I'm getting pretty interested in her, too. See that chick again? You're not still thinking about escaping, are you? <laughs> I'm serious this time. One of the soldiers told me. You know, the last escape plan was a disaster. Another escape plan? Oh, yeah! Seems there's a way out through the monster's holding cell. He's pulling your leg. Last time they even punished us with no food for a week. The guy's legit, I swear! You believe the guy because he gave you bread? No, it's not that. His song. Song? He sang this sad song. Lord Gronz's songs were pretty sad, too. That's it? Lord Gronz turned into a soldier to help us. You wish, man. Trust me, the goddess loves me. No, dude, you're a slave. The goddess, huh? And we can finally move the character around. Hooray! Loki is under my control. And then, yes, he just swears the guy is legit. What is up, slave? Don't listen to Windbag Willy. Beat monsters, show the crowd the beauty of agony and pain, and go on living. Even if he could escape, it's hell outside. That doesn't sound good at all. What's up? You guys are planning to break out. Don't make me laugh. And then here we do have a broken mana goddess statue. This one is uh, what's known as a silver statue. Will you pray to the mana goddess? Uh, no, by praying that will save the game. Uh, but there's really no need for me to save the game just yet. You can get the mana goddess's protection by praying at the statue. It's a good idea to get her pr protection whenever you can. But don't let the realm soldiers see ya. Got it. It's almost time. Yes, it is. But first... A message from Dark Lord. Once again, not the Dark Lord, just Dark Lord. The realm monsters bouts are about to begin, but first a word from our leader. Welcome, Dark Lord. Like I said, Dark Lord, not the Dark Lord. And he's got like wings on his hair. I don't know what's going on.